neutral here. We're going to be opening another box today, uh, another mystery booster box because we've heard of the unfortunate news that uh, Commander Legends is going to be delayed in its release. And knowing that we're here from the Philippines, it's going to be delayed much longer compared to our counterparts in North America. So I can't wait until December for me to open. Uh, I actually ordered for a collector's booster box and for a draft booster box for uh, Commander Legends because it sounds interesting. The leaks so far have been very intriguing and I think there's a lot of value in the cards inside that set. And I'm really looking forward to it, but I just can't wait until December before I do another box opening video. So here we go. We're gonna be opening a Mystery Booster box. And we're going to be hoping to get really good pulls here, probably at the Ferris Protection or uh, even a Mana Crypt, please. Uh, if we could get a Mana Crypt or send triplets maybe, then I'd be super thankful if I do that. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. And welcome guys, we're going to be opening another mystery booster box in this channel. Um, we just received unfortunate news recently that the Commander Legends booster boxes aren't coming uh, on time. Uh, the release date has been delayed and knowing the situation here in the Philippines, it's likely going to be delayed until December. And as you know, I'm a very impulsive guy. I can't wait until December. For me to open another box so during the weekend my friend Darren uh, he hangs out here sometimes during my box opening videos he tagged me in one post at MTG Tambayan uh, and when he saw someone selling a mystery booster box and he tagged me and that was it uh, <laughs> I ordered it I've been looking for a new box of mystery booster box anyway Ever since I finished opening the first one, um, I've been itching to open another one of these bad boys. So in our first box, we did get some really cool openings. Yeah, Darren, I did buy it. <laughs> we did we did well. Uh, we kind of broke even in that box, but we didn't get any hard-hitting cards like Mana Crypt or fairies protection so we're wishing for those cards today and hopefully we do get those cards along with other really nice cards hopefully we also get the send triplets in the foil slot so here we go let's open our box and for our first pack so welcome to those who are watching right now you can join me at Discord, the DPGZ public server. I'm just at the lobby if you wanna hang out and commentate while we're opening these boxes. And these packs, rather. So we don't really care about the comments right now. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot. It's supposed to be two whites, right? And you can have uncommons in these. So we have a Riftwing Cloudscape. An uncommon, the blue slot, dusk charger, Hello. dark dabbling, starfire. Oh, it's Darren. Hello, Darren. Welcome. So Hi we there. have the man Hello, here Hello. who's responsible for this video. <laughs> you were the one who told me to tag you. Yeah, I did tell them to tag me if they see anything uh, in MTG Tambayan. Oh, so we got our first rare. This is supposed to be the pre M15 slot. It's Yavimaya's embrace not sure if this is worth anything enchant creature you control enchanted oh. creature oh that's that's really nice except it costs five a green and two blue so that's pretty costly that's not really nice oh wait sorry uh, I, you can't yeah it should be there you go hello <laughs> i forgot to turn it on on discord there you go <laughs> hello leanne so oh we got another yeah, yeah. mythic right off the bat. <laughs> Just like in the nice. previous video, right? First box. Oh no, sorry. In our collector's booster box for. Or sorry, the set booster box. Our first one for uh, Zendikar Rising. First pack, we got a mythic. And for this box, first pack, nice. we got the mythic. So we got the Grave it's a, Titan. It's a good okay. one, too. 
four black and a black creature giant with six six death touch whenever grave titan enters the battlefield or attacks put two two put two 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 black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield okay let me fix the focus because it's not that clear uh let me check. I think that's around eight. There you go. It's eight dollars. That's not. That's not bad. Oh, we got another uh, celestial carrion. This one Celestial's isn't Kirin. worth much. <laughs> we already got this from the previous box, and it wasn't worth much. I I would have remembered if it <laughs> if it was worth of anything. Course. So the fun part in opening mystery booster boxes is that you don't really know what you're gonna get because the set contains a almost a thousand cards so it's almost it's assured thousand. that you're like, going to it's more than it's yeah more than, than a thousand so you're kind of assured to get uh different cards each time you open a box except for the commons and uncommons of course so it's actually quite rare to get like the same foils even so we got the celestial carrion before and we got one now this is a pretty rare occurrence and actually the nice thing Ooh. about this set is you getting uh if you're drafting this it's a very very different experience from your regular draft totally a million sphere okay we're getting our next m15 pre m15 card oh nice greater oh, garden really good that's really good. Suspend. So it's like it's a it's a mechanic that I didn't I haven't had the chance to play with in standard. Although I did play Modern Horizons draft before. Uh, that's my first exposure to the suspend mechanic. <laughs> so yeah, this is ten to cast. Wow. Sacrifice an artica artifact creature or land. Remove a time counter from Greater Gar Gargadon. Hmm. But it's yeah, nine seven. It's a spend 10 for 1, which is great. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. My Colossus? Devour 2. Another exciting thing uh, when opening Mystery Booster boxes, if you're like me who doesn't, who's just new to Magic, is that you get to be exposed to these old cards that you would um, otherwise likewise have otherwise remembered. wouldn't have seen. <laughs> oh! We got the Tiberius Puzzle Box! Nice! Oh, this is like the second most expensive card in the set. In for, uh, for the foils, Ooh, for the foils, so we get the Teferi's puzzle box. Nice. If I'm not mistaken, this is like ten dollars. I think so. So it's for to cast an artifact at the beginning of each player's draw step. That player puts the cards in his or her hand at the bottom of his or her library in any order, then draws that many cards. So like, uh, yeah. <coughs> But you can choose how many, right? You're, you're forced no, to you, put all of them. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're placing that there. So uh, we're going to have two piles of foils. One is useless and the other one is... We, we know that they have value. Because there's a lot of foils in this set. Each pack has one foil, I think. If I'm yes. not mistaken. Uh, yes. And like 80% of them are worthless. So... I mean... The same goes for every other card in the mystery booster. Oh, well, that's true. That's the Ferry's puzzle box is like five dollars. Oh, it's five dollars, yeah, not ten dollars. It went. It it it, yeah. it 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 goes down because of uh, how many people are opening mystery boosters. And yeah, I think and and really and good products. And well, uh, the mystery booster box is not a limited product, so they'll yeah, just keep great. on reprinting it. So, the expectation is all of these cards will have like very low value over time i mean we already seen mana clip like go down by half which is amazing it is amazing unless you're op unless if you're opening boxes you know to make a profit then that's a bad <laughs> thing and then our Speaking next card is an well i'm not opening to make a bang out of it you know i i don't yeah. really i'm not so aggressive in selling my cards anyway that's fair Memory erosion. Hey, Mill. Whenever an opponent casts Ooh. a spell, that player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Ooh. Yeah. That's really nice. It's like Psychic Corrosion, even the yeah. artwork is similar to Psychic Corrosion. Except Psychic Corrosion is whenever you 
cast a spell or non creature spell. Right? No, 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 no. Mill. The opponent mills, I think, two or three. Uh, I can't remember. Right. That was from Whenever the previous you set. Cast cast and a drug skull captain. I think this one's. Uh... Hey, I might. I might be in the market for that because I'm building this, this really weird tribal tribal deck. Tribal tribal, drug skull yeah. captain. All right, just hit me up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes, I didn't. Uh, I ended up not selling the Iron Mass after fine. all because I, mean... uh, I placed it inside my inside my uh, binder and then it just looked like it's at home there. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> remove it from my binder anymore. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, anyway, the value, uh, the the value of those cards are also lowering by the R. So. A lot of people have been opening set booster boxes and collector booster boxes for Zendikar Rising, so yep. the value isn't really that high for the Expedition Lands anymore. And anyway, they're much cheaper compared to the original prints, although they uh, look the, so much enemy, better. Depends. The uh, For some reason, the enemy fetches Ooh. are less expensive, but Ooh. the allied fetches are more expensive. Ah. And that card is also kind of expensive. Exsanguinate! It's it's one of the more expensive uncommons here in this box in the set. And the recruiter of the guard. Uh, I've seen this used in EDH a lot. Recruiter of the guard. Wait, is that conspiracy? Is it? Is yes, it is. It is conspiracy. CN two. Hey. Yeah. So um, it's casted using two and a white. When Recruiter of the Guard enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with toughness 2 or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Oh, I can see why it's useful. It's the, it's, the toughness, it's the toughness version of Imperial Recruiter. Oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> Wait, Reaper King. Sweet. <laughs> That's a really cool commander. Can you do a scarecrow uh, tribal deck using this it's, as their commander? It's hard. It's hard because I think there's less than thirty scarecrows, so people just use um, either blink effects or shapeshifters because those are also scarecrows. This Great. is so nice. It looks nice. But it looks really good. <laughs> it looks really good. I'm gonna so it put really it good. here because it's janky, so it's valuable for me. I like janky cards. Who doesn't like janky cards? Uh, those who look at cards by their value, I was, probably. <laughs> I was about. I was just about to say, like, uh, I know the answer to this. <laughs> All right, shining aerosaur. You know, aids. You should also be doing this live whenever you're opening your packs. I don't. Uh, I don't know why you're opening your packs first, then showing it to us yeah. afterwards. Are you that excited to open your packs? I mean, I only open these packs when I'm at the store. Ah, you it's open like... them at the store. Oh, first of all, my. It's not expensive, it's like, but it's like, it's like useful. I, I always talk to the admins at the admins program for the Bubikama Care Examples. So when I get the shit, I just ask. Oh, oh. Ancient Ogun Green Tutu? Oh, yeah. Squirrel Wrangler. You know, there's this joke uh, where in Commander Community, Squirrel Tribal is a thing. Only if you're playing like a, a silver bordered uh, sets. Yeah. Because there's lots of yeah. squirrels in uh, silver bordered sets. Really good. <laughs> for some. Oh, we got our next mythic. 5 4 creature with blue and a white. Guys? It's, uh... oh, no, oh, guys. it's Ojatai. We got our next mythic. Hello. So, uh. There was this one time when I was collecting all multicolored dragons. So lots of them came from Tarkir and yep. yeah. So I was collecting them because I was um, thinking of building a Ramos deck. But that didn't fall through because I can't find the singles, just singles for the Ramos. <laughs> it's always a bundle with the whole deck. Yeah, that's fair. And a Boreal Druid! Ah, oh, this has value. Uh, around that's $2. Really this is like kind of yeah. $2. Yeah. Put there. It's 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 other than birds and uh, death right shaman. I think that's uh, the other expensive one drop elf. Define expensive. Well, two dollars in a I mean, Lanor elves and all those are just like bulk. So 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's uh, if there's anything annoying here in this set, it's that they've included cards that were printed in the past two years. Like, I don't see any. Uh, oh, propaganda! <laughs> wow. You got the propaganda. Nice. You gotta put this over nice. here. In the useful file. <laughs> in the useful file. Like, I don't understand why they would include cards from Dominaria, Ixalan, etc. I mean, yeah. Because you know they can't put. Oh, who found the inspector? I've seen this in news. There. Yes. Artifacts will rejoice. Who? Hey. We've Artists. also put this before, but um, I don't think this has any value. It's a cool looking card. You know, it's what? always nice to see these old arts, arts. It is. Old artworks. Oh, another mythic. Third mythic in just our first pile. Uh, what set oh. is that from? It's Tree Tree from Conspiracy. Huh. It's Queen Marchesa. Oh, it's a Hesper oh, wow. card. That's really good. Yo. Oh, really? I've never seen this before. That's, that's the more expensive Marchesa. Marchesa? So that's how you read it? I it's might... one red, white, and a black. Uh, tree Tree legendary creature, human assassin, death touch, and haste. Oh, it has haste. When Queen Marchesa enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Oh, monarch! Uh, I, uh, could could you guys remind me what monarch does again? Uh, monarchy is uh, essentially when you when you're the monarch at the beginning of your end step, you draw a card, and then whenever another player deals combat damage to you, they become the monarch. I see. All right, so and that's a really cool mechanic. You can't have monarchs in the game if you don't have cards like this. You have to have yes. these cards to you know start it off. The beginning of your upkeep, if you have, if an opponent is the monarch, put a one-one black assassin creature token with death touch and haste onto the battlefield. But oh, that's really cool because then you'd be able to apply pressure on your opponent. They'd have yep. to decide if they're gonna give up the monarchy or if they're gonna give up one of their creatures to keep that extra draw at the end step. So that's really cool. I'm gonna put this here. And hornet sting for a foil. Uh, it deals one damage to target creature Wait, or player. Fun fact. It's one of the only um, direct dealing damage in green. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because that's usually re um, reserved for red. red. Yep. It's it's a it's a green burn spell. Except it's just one damage. I mean, there's a lot of one Lavadar. This is Lavadar is a thing. <laughs> Syncopate. I used to love this card, especially in brawl. You just keep this. <laughs> it's yeah. the opportune time and then piss someone off <laughs> when you use it. Cran Holler, Covenant of Blood, Cranko, Cranko's Command, command. Arc Trail, Kozilex Predator, Sylvan Bounty, and then a Ball of Null, Ball of Null. Scarred Barns. Oh. Okay, I thought it was something else. They don't have Shocklands here, right? They do not. No, they don't. So for our M15, free M15 card, it's a 2-0? Yep, that huh? was a thing. I think, uh, I can't remember the Phantom name. Like, yeah, <laughs> Phantom Center. Protection from black. Uh, Phantom Center comes into play with 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. If damage would be dealt to Phantom Center, prevent the damage. Oh, that, that actually makes sense. Oh! <laughs> Our fourth mythic in just the first, uh, in just the first uh, Lisa. pile. Probably Lisa, voice Lisa. of Zendikar. Uh, I, I don't feel like this is worth anything. I don't see this a lot. I mean, There's like all planeswalkers are worth at least a little bit. You know, the disappointments from the previous mystery booster box. We'd be excited whenever <laughs> we see a mythic planeswalker. Then turns out Sarkan is less than a dollar. But the pair at least is like one dollar and fifty cents. Well, anyway, Nisa, voice of Zendikar, one green and the green um, starts with three loyalty counters on it. Planeswalker Nisa, plus one, put a zero one green plant creature token onto the battlefield. Minus two, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And minus seven, you gain X life and draw X cards, where X is the number of lands you control. I still prefer. Uh, I I I really like the design of the new Nisas. Especially the ones that turn lands into two hulking brutes. They're like... <laughs> uh, lands become more useful. You know, lands are like... 
the foundations of magic and they just become stronger. So yeah, I really appreciate Nisa, the character. Oh, what's this? One plus star, one plus star, green. Ah, uh, yes. Allosaurus Rider. Oh shit, Allosaurus Rider. That's so this uh, is like around six dollars, I think. That's a modern playable card. Five green and a green. You may remove two green cards in your hand from the game rather than pay Allosaurus Rider's mana cost. Oh, that's a really easy trade to make. Allosaurus yep. Rider's power and toughness are each equal to one plus the number of lands you control. Wow. This yeah. Is played in modern in a combo deck called Neo Brand because Grizzle Brand is seven to cast. So you pit you play Allosaurus Rider on turn one and then cast Neo Form to get Grizzle Brand and go from there. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Grizzle Brand is eight to cast. Yes. Yeah. So Neo Form gets it after Allosaurus Rider. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is our last pack from our first pile. And we already got four mythics, which is nice, but it doesn't bode well for the rest of the box. <laughs> we haven't Maybe seen, we haven't seen a uh, mana crypt or Teferi's protection yet, so that's kind of sad. We already opened four mythics. Oh, this looks like a nice dragon, Ooh. zombie dragon, three block Ooh. black, red red, flying for four. When Blade Wing the recent enters the battlefield. You may return target dragon permanent from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like mm -hmm. it. Breaker of Armies. It's an Eldrazi from Battle for Zendikar. I think I've seen this in some Tron decks. Or not Tron decks. Uh, artifacts, what do you call that? Affinity? Affinity. Yeah, I've seen this in Affinity decks before in sure. Popper. Oh, ah, uh, popper. And uh, 315. Oh, this looks nice. Cargan Dragon Lord. It's a. Uh, it, oh, it's mythic. It's a mythic. It's our fifth. We had five mythics out of eight <laughs> packs. How crazy is that? Uh, level up uh, to two, and then it becomes a four four with flying, and then it becomes an eight eight with flying and trample, and uh, spend one red mana. Cargan Dragon Lord gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. I remember in Modern Horizons, that was when I first encountered the level up cards. There was this one very strong card. I just can't remember Hex the Drinker. name of it. Hex Drinker, yeah, Hex Drinker. Drinker. It's a really nice card, and I loved it, but I had to sell it to buy Some more boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of cards that I sold from Modern Horizons that I regret selling, like Seasoned Pyromancer. I sold that, and it's like. 1.7 each now. I sold it for like 600 and I'm like kicking myself right now for not keeping them. And also, I had a Prismatic Vista which I sold to Masong which is like 1.5 right now if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Living Death. Each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls then puts all cards he or she exiled this way onto the battlefield. So basically, you revive all of your creatures from your graveyard, right? You ex you exchange the ones on the battlefield with the ones on the graveyard. Ah, yeah, correct, correct. And then, oh, Sundial of the Intimate. Oh, nice. This is We're worth something. Sun dial you... Yeah, this is our yeah. second Sundial. So the first the first pile is really lucky. We have had five mythics so far: um, Grave Titan, Dragon Lord Ojutai. Queen Marchesa, Nisa, Voice of Zendikar, and a Cargan Dragon Lord. That's really nice. Okay, so we're moving over to our next pile. So we had five already, and on average, these boxes only have like seven or eight mythics. So Maybe it's the probably. Yeah, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might be wrong on that. You know, I've been opening lots of boxes recently, so I might have it wrong. Wait, so it's supposed to be like just five, right? Five or six? Like uh, a regular booster box? Regular box. I think it's around six. So we've already exhausted all of our luck for for this box. Oh, preordained. That's nice. Nice. That's, uh, that's also an expensive card. Keep Is it? it? The other pile. Okay, okay, okay. It's around Put it two, here. It's around $3-ish. Any... Uh, any card that lets you draw for one is, you know, 
I mean, it's banned in modern for a reason. <laughs> it's banned? Alright, nice. it's banned in modern. <laughs> Preordained and Ponder Wait, are uh, both uh, banned in modern. Yep. Alright. Carvex Torch. That card. Interrupt. I haven't heard that term in a long while. Rare from DDQ. What's DDQ? Uh, Dual Decks. Dual Decks. A Grave Crawler. Oh wow, that's another expensive one. Regular ones are around eight dollars, I think. Oh, yeah, ten ten foil. I think it's a multicolored. Card. Leveler. Ah, no. Leveler. Leveler. <sighs> really useful in Dota. Remove your library from the game. Why can't you yep. use this with the? I know with the. With the Jace deck. Yeah. <laughs> does that combo yes, not can. existing? Yes, yes, it does. Some people still use Leveler. There are just more um, more efficient ways to go about it, but the Leveler is still. Is it Inverter yeah. of Truth or uh, not? Uh, Wait, sorry, I forgot what Inverter of Truth does. Oh, in Inverter of Truth for Pioneer, yes. In EDH, cons Demonic Consultation is one mana. So that's more efficient. That's yeah. more Out of all the colors, uh, it's blue, which tends to have expensive commons and uncommons. I mean, grapple with the past. Why do I have a feeling that uh, I don't think so? Shard this agent. Uh, in our previous box, we thought this was worth something. Then turns out it didn't. And then for our pre M15 card, Wargate. Never heard of this. Oh, nice. Really Search your card. library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X or less, put it into play, then shuffle your library. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Sad boy. Sad uh, robot. We got a sad uh, robot. Sad robot. Oh, we got the Kamigawa card. Foil Kamigawa cards. This is going to be another. What's up, what's what's his name? Celestial Kirin. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. This is Kamigawa, know. right? This. Is that isn't that Kamigawa? Yes. Yeah, I didn't, it I is didn't know they had the I didn't know they had the set symbol. Ooh! Ah, because it's a flip card. Yeah, it's a flip it's card. A flip, yeah. Okay, okay, Runetail okay, okay. Kitsune Ascendant. When you have 30 or more life, flip Runetail Kitsune Ascendant and then uh, it's a legendary creature, Fox Monk at 2 2. And then when it flips, it becomes a Rune Tail's Essence. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to creatures you control. Oh, it becomes an enchantment. Yes. Oh, that's a pretty cool card, but I don't think it's worth anything. Anything that revolves around you having lots of life total, I don't think they're worth <laughs> anything. You know, I was duped by this card in... Is it M21? Speaker of Heavens? Speaker of Heavens, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. this is going to be a draft, uh, draft bomb. So I keep on getting Speaker, in the, speaker of, of the Heavens when I first did my draft. Then turns out it's not that good. After all, because I have a big boner for angels in magic. <laughs> That's perfectly understandable. We all have that for some special cards. Uh, Kin Tree Invocation for our gold and for our colorless filigree Ooh. familiar. It's a fox. And. A 5-6 for our pre-M15 card. Um, it's a Chancellor of the Annex. Oh, it's an angel. Uh, four, white, white, white. It's an annoying angel. It's an angel that doesn't fly. What gives? 5-6. You may reveal yeah. this card from your opening hand. If you do, when each opponent casts his or her first spell of the game, counter that spell. Oh, wow. It's what? Annoying. It's wow. Annoying. <laughs> Really oh, I love this card already. <laughs> I, I could really forgive it for not having flying. It does. Oh yeah, it does have flying. It's just there. I I just used with 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 the with with these being the first words uh, in the text box. It does have flying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's even better now. It's even better now. Beastmaster Ascension. I think I've seen this played in Commander's Quarters. It's really good in aggro. 
Whenever a creature yeah, control attacks, you may put a quest counter on Beastmaster Ascension. Has seven or more quest counters on it. Creatures you control get plus five, plus five. So Ooh, like, that's a really mm, easy quest. Just it is. Attack seven times. Oh wait, that's seven turns. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Seven, it's kind of hard to do. Seven creatures. If it's whenever a creature. Oh, so it's if you whenever have, like, a creature. With seven, with, uh, if you had like seven uh, saprolings, one one saprolings, they suddenly become six six. six. And it resolves, the effect resolves even before damage resolution, right? So, uh, it's because, yes, because attack triggers happen, that resolves, and then the Beastmaster pump happens. A 9 5 in green? It's a worm. <sighs> Pan glacial worm. Read it. 5 Read it. green, green, 9 5 creature worm trample. While you're searching your library, you may. P what? <laughs> what the uh, heck? It's a judge's nightmare. <laughs> you may play it, which means you still have to pay its mana yes. cost. Yeah, yes, you still have to play it. Pay its mana your library, cost, but... You can just like, oh, I have a panglacial worm here. I'm what the it. heck? <laughs> okay, you're gonna put this here. It's an interesting card. <laughs> it's a judge's nightmare to resolve. So, what happens first? You getting the. Mm -hmm. <sighs> The, the thing you search or it entering the life the you casting it uh if red passes by later we should ask ah uh, yeah uh, we we should probably we ask geist, geist of the moors dawn glare invoker divination temporal fissure uh oh yargo <laughs> Yargo from Dominaria, Vampire Envoy. Probably should be keeping track of all of the vampires because I also have an Elenda deck. Boiling Earth. Elenda and a uh, Anya deck. Ferno Jet. Animal Crossing. Pax Favor. Oh, Blightning! Oh, that's a, that's a nice card. I'm gonna put this here because it's iconic, kinda iconic. Arcane Sanctum. I already had this before. It's a um, Esper colored blue red 4 4 for the PM15 card. And it's a Dominus of Filthy. There we go. Oh, what's this supposed to do? It's a blue or red, blue or red, blue or red, blue or red, and a blue or red. 4 4 creature spirit avatar with flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may gain control of target permanent until end of turn. If you do, untap it and it gains haste until end of turn. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. Mm, I like its effect. Modern Masters Tree, rare. It's a mind shatter. Target player discards X cards at random. Mm, that's so good. It's a fix. It, it's not not oh. put in. Oh, hello. you got another planeswalker. Black red planeswalker. The foil slot. <laughs> it's another Sarkad oh. Damad. Ah, I'm not gonna get fooled anymore. You go here in the useless pile. Okay, I have an answer for the Pangracial Worm. What? Okay, so, so how does it work? You your, so you search your library, and if your Pangracial Worm is there, uh, you will put Pangracial Worm on the stack by paying its cost and casting it. And then you finish searching your library. After you finish searching your library, uh, Pangracial Worm is now on the stack, and people have the chance to respond to it. Okay. For example, if you get Demonic Shooter, and Panglacial Worm is on your thing. You begin your search, and then you put Panglacial Worm on the stack. You finish your Demonic Tutor search. Panglacial Worm is now on the stack on top of the resolved Demonic Tutor, and then people can respond to it as usual. Alright, so, but if you don't intend to play it while searching, you don't have yes, to have exactly to. Uh, declare. To. Yeah, right. So there's that. Call it, it the culprit. Gets more difficult when you have things like uh, brainstorm, uh, not brainstorm, like things like Sensei's divining top, where you look at a certain oh, amount. Oh yeah, of is that considered <laughs> searching your library? No, right? You have to search the whole deck if 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 you want to, yeah. or rather, if if this appears when you search your library, is is that how it works? Uh, let me double check. I said there's a thing with Selvala, which is really annoying. <laughs> Death denied. Anyway, ahead, well, down. anyway, thanks for checking. Thanks for checking. Death denied. I Return X target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Goblin war paint. Oh, rancor. <laughs> Is this Ooh. worth anything? Just for being in one of uh, 
Ristic Studies videos. I'm just gonna put this here because I like that card. Ordan Reef Invoker. Uh, gets plus 5 plus 5 and gains trample until end of turn. Flamekin Zealot. Uh, sadly, Rancor isn't worth anything. I am keeping it there for uh, still a good card. emotional value. Yeah. Breaker of Armies. It's our second Breaker of Armies. Kito Warcry. Nice art. I, I just love old art so much. Old Look at that. It's really good. It's like the cover arts for all those old um, dragon lance books. Yeah. <laughs> Rare from Commander 2017. Oh! Nice. <laughs> they got nice. the Teferi's protection. There you go. There you go. There's our Teferi's protection. Okay, so we have like five mythics so far and a Teferi's protection. Thank you very much to the person who saw. Thank you, Darren, for tagging me. <laughs> I owe you this. Okay, so not of this world. Seven to cast Eldrazi Tribal Instant. Tribal Instant, so it's not a creature. Counter target spell or ability that targets a permanent to control. Not of this world costs 7 less to cast if it targets a spell or ability that targets a creature you control with power 7 or greater. Mm. So it's like your trump card against removals for your Kozilex Eldrazi. and Eldrazi yes. Titans. Exactly. I'm gonna put this here. Fun fact, you can search that with anything that says search your library for an Eldrazi. Because it has the Eldrazi subtype. Really? Oh, yep. yeah. You, you don't usually see that, right? Uh, sorceries yeah. spells with with the subtype. That's not uh, that doesn't happen so often. Been, I think the last one was around the lore when doctors like they had like things like tribal instant goblins and things like that. Tribal instants were a thing before. Oh, oh, old art cool. arcane denial. Yeah, I like this. Calculated dismissal. You know, if if a card has the word counter in it, you have to double check <laughs> if it has value because there's a lot of broken commons and uncommons that uh, at first glance you don't think it's it it it's a big deal, but then you start playing with it with someone who actually knows how to play control, and then you realize, oh, this is so broken. The mystical dispute? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, mystical dispute. Come on, I, I was like. Oh, it's more expensive to cast if it's not targeting a blue spell. Mm, must be bad. Must be bad. <laughs> Mistress Factory. Knight of Dawn. Oh, it's an old card. Uh, what's this symbol? Forgot I this. That is old. Tempest. Tempest. Yes, yeah. Tempest. Nineteen ninety-seven. Knight of Dawn. First strike. Knight of Dawn gains protection of the color of your choice until end of turn. So it's a it's a bear. It's a bear with first strike and Hi hi Glenn Walter Lim. Hello, welcome to my unboxing. Oh it's a rare from War of the Spark. Hi Sky. Oh it's people tip. <laughs> it's people tip. Oh what did you miss? What did I I'm glad you asked. From our first from our per, first pile, we got five mythics. Cargan Dragonlord, Misa Voice of Zendikar, Queen Marchesa, Dragonlord Ojitai, and Great Titan. So that's from our first pile. And then from our second pile, we got Sarkan the Mad, which isn't worth anything, but I just wanted to mention it because it's our sixth mythic. And then in our last pack, we had the Fairy's Protection. Dude, that's amazing. Yes, that's man, it's amazing. So we got the Teferi's protection, and yeah, yeah. Well, we everything else falls Teferi's in comparison, Teferi's just because of Teferi. Too. Yeah, we have a grave crawler, preordain, propaganda. Yeah, lots of good things. Exan exsanguinate. That's the thing. I, that's the thing I really like about uh, mystery boosters. It's like it's not full of like twenty dollar cards, but it's like has a lot of three plus dollar cards and that you will almost always get yeah almost always it's like a staple in almost all commander like, decks stuff i've like opened that. i've opened like 
five, five or six mystery boosters, and I've only lost money once when I checked value. You've but opened like, five? Hello? Sorry, did I hear you wrong? You've yeah, opened I, five already? Not boxes, not boxes. Oh, packs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like your friends. I'm not like your friends. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> not like your friends. Don't have that kind of money friends. <laughs> oh, Factor Fiction! I've always That's wanted just... this. Ah, really? this is a really nice box. You know, not because I want to use it. It's just so fun to use. Yeah, that's fair. Reveal the top really? five cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into the graveyard. You know, whenever I'm presented this option, I'm almost always not sure what to, what to pick. If I was the opponent being asked to choose which to put in the pile of, to the graveyard it's and the other. Easy. It's never easy. It's never yeah. easy. Yeah, it's not really gonna put that there. Yeah, Darge of the I'm Dead. Because he's a factor fiction. Return shot. center. And he targeted me, and I didn't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, help. <laughs> one of the cards that he. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like better? Yeah, you, I, I'll let you choose. <laughs> At some points, when a game is like in a state where it doesn't matter, I just let him go 5 0. Ooh, Lightning yeah. Helix. Ooh, nice. Lightning Helix. I nice. think it's a. Uh, I think it's eighty cents right now. It's the it's the Boros special uh, print. Suspicious book. Yeah, the guild kit one. Yeah, the guild kit. Mm. Is this Rhystic study? No, so it's not. It's not. It's not. Really Sapphire it's charm. Oh. It's a charm. Yeah. It's Choose a charm. one. Target player draws a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep, or target creature an opponent controls faces out, or target creature gains flying until end of turn. Wait, that's a phasing card? Whoa. Yeah, it phases cards out. Rare from what's PCA? Uh, Plane Chase Anthology. Plane Chase, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's Plane Chase. 4 4 from Plane Chase. Prey Caesar Dragon. I have it's never seen that card before. It's a 4 red and a red. 4 4 flying creature dragon, Devour 2. Whenever Prey Caesar Dragon attacks, it deals damage to target creature or player equal wow. to the number of plus one plus one counters on Prey Caesar Dragon. Wow. Nice. I love Devourer as an Oh, we got Sasuke. Sasuke, son of Sen Sh Se Seshiro. Oh, yeah, Sasuke. Sasuke. Snake Warrior. Sasuke, son of Seshiro. <laughs> Other snakes you control get plus one plus zero. Whenever a warrior you control deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at the end of combat. Mm, that's pretty cool. It's just green, right? Yeah, it's just green. It's okay. Seshiro. Shadows die twice. Yes. It's Seshiro. That. <laughs> that's a nice one. Seshiro. Oh, actually, I forgot to ask. Glenn, do you play magic or you're just here to watch? I just like watching. I used to play a bit, but I'm not that uh, that deep into MTG. Mm, I see. Play they, they play arena at least? Yes, play again. Uh, not really. <laughs> but do you still play other card games? You know, a lot of us who used to play Magic, I mean, we still play, but a lot of us has moved on to other card games like, uh, right now, Legends of yeah, Runeterra. A lot of people have been playing that. Have you been playing that? Oh, I, I also played it for a bit, but it, it didn't stick with me. Mm, I guess card games don't really stick that much to me, I guess. Nice. But I find it interesting. Ooh, Ooh, crop it rotation? Oh, nice. Ooh, crop nice crop rotation. rotation. Let's go. Another golden Ooh. common. Zealous Persecution. That's, from that's a really good card, actually. Prophetic Prism? Or people should play Less that than card. $1? Who? <laughs> look at that! I've never seen these yeah. symbols before! Uh, that was Ooh. from Ooh. Brimstone Dragon! Yeah. Flying Brimstone Dragon is unaffected by some... Oh, it's just basically 6-6 six, six flying haste. Oh god. Yes. That was before the time haste was converted. Yes. Dude, honestly, that's a pack 1 pick 1. 6 mana, 6-6 six, six flying haste? It's, seven, it's yeah. 8 mana, it's 8 mana, though. Oh, it's 8 mana? Oh. I don't care. It's eight ma it's still, it's, you know, it's I barely still get to 8 mana, mana if I'm playing mana. red. No, no one gets the 8 <laughs> mana when playing draft. Sword of the Anime. Sword of the Anime. Wait, Sword of the Anime? And Knowledge yeah. Pool. Oh, Knowledge nice. Pool. Oh, Christ, Yo, I hate that card so, so much. Foil Knowledge Pool? Sakto, my Foil Lavinia. I hate that card so much. <laughs> I'm okay, guessing. so... 
Best three boosters are just like from any random exp like expansion. Yeah, yeah from right. anything Entry. after fifth ed, I think. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. yeah, it has cards from all over of MTG history. So we're down to our last eight packs. Hi red. Hi red. Hey red. Two, four, six, eight. Kainin ko to sorry kan damad. Mythic foil useless by the way. <laughs> oh red, look at this. Look at this card we got. Woo, spicy. Kainin mo nga. No way, no way. Uh, what's friends? Friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no way! I'm gonna use that card anyway. Why do you want me to eat cards on stream? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know, I feel like it would be fun. <laughs> it's more it's more, more like it would get the viewers. I feel like it would make you explode. Like imagine hmm. the headline. Streamer eats streamer cards. Eats the Paris protection. <laughs> oh. Streamer eat streamer eats uh sixty dollar cards. <laughs> Oh, 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 hey, you know, hey, oh, you know. Alright. Uh, Imagine if it's a For the cloud, right? For the cloud. Oh, friend, yeah, friend. Cloud. If if I ever get a mana crypt again, or or let's say you next na magkakong ano, bigyan kita ng judge. Oh, oh, gusto mo ng judge for demonic tutor. Bigyan kita. <laughs> oh my I'll God, you, uh, di pa lang demonic. Uh, Ivy. 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 Mm -hmm. If I send you a judge for will you eat it on stream? No way. I, why, do, why do you have that obsession? Stigma oh, lash. Why not though? Yeah, so so sure. sure. <laughs> send you a judge yeah, for yeah. infernal okay. tutor. We're being invaded by Oblation Esports. Hi V and hi Coach Red. We're, we're, your, we're your official esports arm. Right. Well, yeah, if I were still in UPGG, that would be. Yeah, that's well, yeah, you do belong here because you're part of UPGG. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Not quite, oh, wait, sorry. Why did I put does. this he here? The Beast of the Gremlins go there. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know promo. Oh! Godzilla Battle Fortress. Delve, Delve card, right? This is a hammer. He's using Delve. Wait, Gurmag. Gurmag, Gurmag Angler. Um, uh, the, the popper. Uh, Delve popper. The popper regular. First Fear Gargantua. Skirk Prospector, Price of Progress. Oh, that's kind of good. That's pretty useful. Those are both really good cards. Really, Skirk what? Prospector is, so Skirk Prospector is now seeing so much play in Historic because F Moxus. Oh. Is Prospector is actually Moxus. really, really good. It's, it's an Omni Sack out there. It is Carpet so of Flowers. Whoa! Oh, oh my god, that was so you good, friend. Carpet, Carpet of Flowers? That's a $20 card, right? Oh Yo. my, we're making so much value out of this box. Uh, I love... Yo. Wait, I'm gonna search what's the name of that guy who sold me this. Uh, I'm just gonna shout out... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, I, I'm shouting out to Joseph Raymond Sim. Thank you very much for selling me this box. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, okay, no, man. no way, man. <laughs> Don't. Oh, V was asking you to sell some of the. No, I was, I was just asking because I, I could, I could like play this in my, in my deck. Fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. Also, wow, it's a really good card. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an amazing card. It's, that's I, an amazing I love card. Flowers. Flowers. You have no I idea. Have what if your opponent card. doesn't have islands? Chances are you will have a different island. Chances are they, yeah. Friends, get to again. Just play with me. <laughs> I'm gonna have an island. Oh, nice. That doesn't sound so nice. Oh, wow. Summer Tribe Scout. Oh, that's wow. really good too. That's good. Really good. That one, it's a, it's a snake shaman scout. You may play. You may put a land card from your hand into play. Snake deck. Anything Sakura yeah. Tribe. That's a, that's a combo with Lotus Cobra. It's not, because it's independent. <laughs> What's the, theoretically, the biggest card you can pull from this? Mana Crypt. Uh, mana Crypt. Which is $98 or uh, $95. Really? 
no, no, no it, there's a specific card pool kasi of foils that can be yeah. uh, is that cheap now? Yes! yes. Because of yes. mystery boosters Just because of mystery and, uh, boosters. double masters yeah. okay, Mana Crypt is now like 4 something K Which is uh, 4 K is the youngest mana crypt Oh gosh! <laughs> Nice. Gosh! <laughs> We're getting really good pulls! <laughs> Banded band in popper, by the way. Yo, Chad, what's up? Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Hey, we also got pre Search for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's also, for tomorrow. Tomorrow. that's also nice. Oh, software for Andre! Wow, that's a lot of people. Jagger not. And. Wow! <laughs> Yo! Yo, friend. Okay. Yeah, I've always wanted the Rhystic Study. Now you have one, friend. Yo. And I have one. And I've been time to buy it in singles. Screw you, prof. <laughs> Yo, you're making so much money. Oh! Ah. You recall. Oh, Hey, patron of the moon. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Patron of the moon. Patron of the moon is actually cool. Is this is this worth anything? I think this is like one dollar or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's a cool card. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool card, dude. It's a high tide commander. Yep. Yeah. Isn't okay, that like, let's uh, put this here then. Who was that? Anton? I think Anton had the patron yeah, yeah, of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Anton had patron. He, he's a no. He's uh, GG. Yeah, Anton is GG. Jesus Christ, friends. No, what? What? Okay, we're just missing a mana crypt, then we can end the video. Like, oh, right, yeah, right yeah. then and there, when you get the mana crypt, we can end the video. If you eat mana crap rare. You can eat crap rare. You can eat No way, man. Infernal Tutor, friend. Why? Why would you do that? Do Infernal, Infernal Tutor Infernal. is horrible. So Tower of Eons, Precursor Golem. Tower of Eons, which Eons? Eons. 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 Oh, another Maro Nor. Ah, I'm getting good pulls. Wait, okay, Maro Nor. What is that? Maro Nor. It's the it's oh, it's Maro. the original. It's the original rat tribal commander. Oh, rats have fear. Sacrifice a rat. Put X11 black rat creature tokens into play where X is the number of rats you control. It's like. It is fact, rat. What's. Uh, it's, it's like a card you play in A Plague's Tale. You know that game? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uncultured swines. Go back and playing magic in your basements. And, uh, um, actually, I don't have a basement. <laughs> Nalala ko na naman tali yung one time when we were playing Magic in an actual basement. Although you guys weren't there. Yeah, none of you guys have been there. Were there. Palace Jailer? Is this something? Oh. Uh, it's another yeah, Monarch card. Talking about it. It's bad. It's bad in EDH, but it's really, really good in uh, Duel. Oh, yeah, great, Al. Duel, right? Oh, wait, but who plays Duel, right? Who plays Duel, right? Play no, Candlander with me, Sky. Come on, play Sky. Play, play <laughs> Candlander with me, please, Sky. I'm begging you. Candlander, please. Yes. Candlander, please. Raging yes. Sword Tooth, Blossoming Sands. Nice. I mean, Thriving Magpie. Is it? What is it? Cantayan sa O2. Oh, it's Thieving Magpie. Sorry. Thieving <laughs> Magpie. Thriving. Yes. <laughs> Rare zero zero rare from Commander twenty fifteen. Night Howler. Night Howler. Ah, alam ko yun yun yung sa night na nagahaul. Ah, oh, tamat 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 yun yun. Oh, I remember. Oh, Goblin Bushwalker. Nice. Wait, Bushwalker. Oh, wow, Bushwalker. Bushwalker, dude, that's Bushwalker. a Bushwalker. In, ano, in... modern Goblin. Yeah, used in modern. Ah, okay. we're down to our last three packs. What are the chances of us getting a mana crypt? Close to zero, but we're still not, yeah, still not giving up. We're not gonna give up until we've opened I mean, the last got, pack. Dude, you got a carpet, you got a rhystic study. It's good so far. We got a Teferi's protection. We've already uh, made money out of the box. Go ship. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, now Mystery. time to buy another one. Time to buy another one! 
buy another one. Yeah, the only reason why I'm doing this again is because I was like, oh, uh, Commander Legends has been delayed. Yeah. Now it's like, well might as well buy another box. Gift or nice. or Zova. Swift. Oh! <laughs> Yo, oh, nice. That's actually oh, classic. <laughs> natural manatite. Natural manatite. And we get our next mythic. It's a it's a planeswalker Plane from Amonkhet. Amonkhet Planeswalker. Lily. Oh! Lily. Lily card. Yo, Lily. What's up? Stop it yeah. with this. Friends, your luck hey, with Lily. Lily has been so good. Yeah, we've been opening lots of Lilies. Oh, uh, in the past five boxes. And then an Alchemist's Refuge. Wow, that's oh, actually really good. You may cast non land cards this a, turn as though they had flash. That's, that's, really straight, up card, bling. that's straight up bling now. Okay, last two packs. Uh, I didn't expect a mythic out of that. <laughs> Big money. Big money. Baka, very, baka all of my birthday luck is going. Oh yeah, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, AIDS. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, 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 not in storm, more on burn. Uh, yeah, grape shot is a storm. Oh yeah, sorry, grape shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grape shot is yeah. still really good. Revive. It fills out the. But uh, like, uh, the two life is not worth running it, and storm is already really tight. Sorry, I've been playing too much storm recently. <laughs> it's okay, Darren. You know I'm a dirty storm. Right? I love storm. Storm is like Oh, we got another planeswalker. Another planeswalker, guys. It's black. Sorry, in Markov, the original one. Jesus oh, Christ. That's, a, that's a fun card. That's a fun card. <laughs> oh, yeah, really I'm gonna nice update. I'm gonna game. update my Vampire Tribal deck. I'm gonna put this in there so hard. You should make a Sauron Tribal deck. You see that, you should... minus three, you see that minus three? Yeah, target opponent's life total becomes ten. Like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly why you should run it. In normal <laughs> magic, it's fine because life total 20, but in commander, that's crazy. Can turn the tides, right? Yeah. You control yeah. target players next turn, it's like a built in. What's that card? Uh, mind Slaver. Yeah, built in Mind Slaver. <laughs> and you get I'm there one. just after playing Sorin twice, and it deals two damage. You know what makes Ugin um, the Spirit Dragon? Is that? The M21 reprint. Yes. Yes. What makes it great is it gets plus two forever. Uh, for for every deal three damage, right? So this kind of like mm -hmm. that, except it's a uh, Soren's thirst on yeah. a planeswalker. So it's really nice. We got another yeah. mythic in our second to the last pack, which is amazing. A oh. uh, rare from Ars of Devastation on oh, Torment of Hellfire. Torment of Hellfire. Oh, wow, you got man. I'm gonna turn Torment of Hellfire. And Sorin Markov, like, is it time to build a mono black? Oh, lapse of certainty. Uh, this is like wow. one dollar and sixty cents. Oh, last time I checked. Wow. It's a better mana You got, you got both counter spells. Why counter spell? Yeah. Yeah. You got mana titan lapse. That's great. Yeah. It's time yeah. to start a white control deck. Come on, mana crypt. Mana crypt. Nine. Last pack. Mana crypt. Last pack. Mana crypt. Hello. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, dali, dali, dali. I've heard of this card before. Vampire Nighthawk, Walk the Plank, Blossom Goblin, Forge Devil, Combo Attack, Shape Descent. Walk the Plank. It's amazing. Excuse me. Yeah. Reflector you know what's not me. not amazing? Siren's Roost. Shut up. Shut up, Red. Shut up right now. Sky Scanner. Siren's <laughs> Roost. Oh, nice reflector mage. Her pre M15 card is a chatter of the squirrel. <laughs> Come on, squirrel. With what? flashback. Oh my god. Come on, mana crypt. Oh, uh, no, it's mana not mana crypt. Commander 2015 rare. Okay, so it's not mana crypt. Oh, it's a uh, grasp of fate. 
Oh, that's actually that's really, really good. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. That's pretty that's good. Really good. That's actually <laughs> but it's good. not the mana grip. It's not, but that can easily... <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so because we didn't get the mana crypt, we're going to open another box. Next time I see another one at MTG Tambayan. <laughs> and a Mem Knight. It's an artifact creature. Yeah. Mem Knight. Although the Mem Knight isn't worth anything, I've checked. Uh, I, I, I also thought it's going to be worth something because it's zero to cast. No. So yeah, uh, really nice pulls. We got how many mythics? Sorin Markov, Liliana, Sarkhan the Mad, Kargan, Nissa, Quinn, Marchesa, Dragonlord Ojitai, and Great Titan. So that's like two, four, six, eight mythics in twenty-four packs. That's like wow. one in every three packs. Like a third of the box. That's a pretty good wow. Ratio. How much is the box? I got it for. I forgot. Oh, Wait, let me check. <laughs> I think it was uh, for a bit less, right? I got it for six. Yeah, for six? Yeah, yeah really for six thousand. That's crazy. I think you. I think you. Made yeah, money. yeah. We made a lot of money. You know, Manatite, and we have a Yuriko Ristic Study. Uh, oh, gosh, Carpet of Flowers. You have a carpet. You have a carpet. Oh, really? Sword of the Animist crop rotation. Uh, Factor Fiction. The fairy's protection. The fairy's protection. Rancor. That's the fairy denial, <laughs> us, by the way. Oh, you got a rancor! I didn't know that. That's crazy. Rancor. Chancellor of the <laughs> Annex. Really that useful. Um, <laughs> sad robot. Grave crawler. Preordain. Ooh, pre Propaganda. Exsanguinate. Recruiter of the guard. Memory erosion. And the, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love cantrip. Cantrips are the best. Can't the best red, that's right. You can actually build a really good commander deck from only those cards yeah, that you from pulled. Only those cards. What's commander, Darren? Golo. He pulled the Reaper King. He's gonna... Oh yeah, oh, he pulled the Reaper King a while ago. The oh, Repo ma. Man. He pulled the Reaper King. He's gonna... <laughs> give them a... Nice... Uh, way, highlight over here. $30. Sorry, who? Recruiter of the Guard is thirteen dollars. If you didn't know, it's thirteen dollars. Yeah, it's, it it's a tutor card. Oh wow! It's it's, it's just a five color kalokohan deck. Yeah, exactly. It's just a little. Bigyan ka bigyan ka tang golos. Pasta ko maingka ng cards. <laughs> Pass. There you go. Uh, this on. is this is for the thumbnail. Yeah, there you go. There's the thumbnail. Wait, for this wait, video, wait, you have uh, to include the cover study one. Yeah, yeah, include the Ristic study, but cover it up with your hand. Okay. Para, oh, what is this? Mm, mystery. So that's Cut. Like carpet like... and Ristic oh, study. Give everything out. Carpet flowers, man. Uh, man the there we go. You should type it. He got what from his boosters? Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna title this as the luckiest mystery booster box. Ever. Still did not First pack mythic. Without, without mana crypt. Did, did you know? Did you guys know? Did you did you guys not know? Uh, the first pack already had the mythic in it, and it was uh, which one was that? Uh, the Grave Titan. I think it was the Grave Titan. Oh, the Grave Titan. Right. <laughs> no, Sam still won't eat a fucking card. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Why would they eat a card? That's so stupid. For friendship. <laughs> For friendship. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I, I don't think our friendship is based on whether or not I'll eat a card in front of your camera. Uh, no way. You know what? Maybe. Maybe if I reach like 1,000 subscribers on this channel, then probably I'll think about it. But right now, no. That's not. That's not. That's not in the picture. <laughs> Yeah, well anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, again, this was neutral opening boxes as if he doesn't have any responsibilities in terms of finances. But yeah, this is so fun. This is so much fun. And I think if we're able to sell all of these even at times 30, I think, I think we'll still make tons of money out yeah, of this the box. box. Yeah, the box, like, the box paid card. for I itself. To sell that card, right? Yeah, I'm not, not really expecting a... being able to sell these cards anytime soon because, you know, pandemic and stuff. It's still much easier to sell cards when you're already in front of someone and you show them your binder and like, Hey, Ristic Studio, no one, no just one. for like times no 20. One. No hmm. one. No one. No 
come on, come on. Yeah, you know, it's much easier to sell at the LGS. And, you know, whenever I need extra cash, I just go to uh, Card Shark or what's the other store? Crazy 8. Crazy eight, yeah. I just go there at Kubao and then give them all, and then they're gonna buy it off at times thirty. And I'm like, okay, that's still money, you know, that's good, for yeah. for all the cards that yeah. I'm not using anyway. So yeah, thank you very much. And that's it for today's box opening video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you also enjoyed me opening that box. I personally liked it very much. There's so much value in that box, and I can't believe we got as many mythics as we did. And uh, upon counting the value, I think we did double the value of the box uh, for from what I paid for. So it's a really good purchase. Uh, I'm not encouraging people to buy booster boxes and opening them to get valuable cards inside. It's just that for me, it's very enjoyable to be opening boxes. You know, the adrenaline and the serotonin rush you get from opening packs and getting these amazing cards. You know, I get excited even if I open cards that uh, aren't really that valuable, but I haven't seen before. Uh, if you if you remember from my previous mystery booster box openings, uh, I get excited whenever I see a new planeswalker that I haven't seen before. You know, quote unquote new because I haven't seen them before, but they've been in circulation for a long while, and. Uh, I really have a lot of fun opening mystery booster boxes because it uh, exposes me to cards that I haven't seen before. Uh, I'm a fairly new uh, player of Magic the Gathering so I haven't really been exposed to a lot of these mechanics and these creature types and um, it's a nice way for me to connect with Magic the Gathering history. So if you like that video, please leave a like and subscribe to this video and to my channel, Neutral GG Sports at uh, Neutral Gaming. And you can see me again next time on Facebook at fb.com slash Neutral GG Esports. Uh, leave me a like and follow. And you can watch me do my live streams on Saturdays and Sundays and watch me with my future unboxing videos. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.